This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, and welcome to CES 2021. For several years straight, we've attended CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. But this year, Consumer Technology Association is actually hosting an event that is completely virtual for the first time. And we are doing this right here from home in Washington, DC. Stay tuned and we will navigate CES 2021 together. Hello, and welcome to LG Press Conference at CES 2021. Every time we are at CES, our expectations are high and we never leave here disappointed. This year, rollable phone is definitely a new resonating term. The original rumor was that LG was working on something codenamed Wing, but today we learned that its official name is LG Rollable. LG is not alone in this quest for new technology, and Oppo and TCL have also shown their concepts. It does appear that LG Rollable, however, will be the first to actually hit global markets later this year. TCL has shown off two concepts today, one of which is a rollable phone and another that is a tablet-like device. Oppo X was not discussed at CES at all, but this is something that people already touched in real life prior to the event. But what does rollable technology actually bring to the end user? Rollable mobile phones are designed to extend beyond their pocket size to boost productivity. These days, Zoom sessions have become a new way to have a meeting at work, and this will certainly increase the amount of participants that you will be able to fit on your screen. This is the time when your screen extends at the top with an internal motor. But if you quickly need to text one of your contacts, default pocket mode will suffice and the top edge of the screen unrolls, decreasing the height of the handset. Samsung's foldable technology is guaranteed to work again and again, but little is known about the longevity of the rollable mechanism. It has to be a motor that allows to extend or unroll the screen, and it will be draining the battery for sure. But from what we've noticed is that these devices are much thicker and are likely to come with a larger battery capacity to offset this energy demand. Handset weight is the last in question and something we know nothing of. Lastly, LG needed to boost their reputation to be able to compete with such giants as Samsung and Huawei, so it looks like this release will allow LG to gain a better market share. The biggest difference between the LG Rollable and the Oppo X is that people have never seen the LG Rollable in real life before, but Oppo X videos are real and people have actually held them in their hands. But unlike LG Rollable, Oppo X official release is yet to be known and there is no official plan just yet. At this time, Samsung is continuing with their original plan of the foldable Z series. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your all digital CS. Take care. While the content format is different this year, CES is once again all about the newest tech and we love navigating through it with you. We do hope that come 2022, we get to experience a live event as we did for four years straight. Stay tuned for more great content.